to the operation of values. You can uh, log into Xilinx from the IC design tool under project navigation. So initially uh, we have to close the project whatever this uh, existing in the window. So for that we have to select files and um, files and files you can see the closed project we have to close that. Then we are going to start a new project. So we have to check out the path in which we are going to save our project. So this is a path location in the working directory. Uh, here we are going to state a name for a project. Let us say uh, underscore project 2 and the top level source type should have to be in schematic because we are going to work in schematic so make sure that the uh, category is selected under schematic and go with next here we have to select the family uh, xc9500xl cplds because the board which we are going to work with is uh, cpld board and specifically the device name is XC9572XL the package is VQ44 the speed is minus 5 so with all these settings uh, make sure that they are in the right settings select that and uh, proceed next and finish so after this you can uh, see to the directory uh, the path which I mentioned will be available with uh, your project name affordable will be available with your project name you can see that so these are the system generated files that is Xilinx has been generating these files so it's inside your project so before getting started we have to include some base files so which are available in basic folder for you guys it will be available in your series so you have to select all the files make a copy and paste it over the project directory which you are currently working then shift on to the settings select the device and add source you can find the file called digital china constraint file dot ucf and io constraints dot sch so you have to select both these files and click ok they will be added to the devices so you can see the same in the screen so in which you are going to first select uh, io constraint so here we are getting out the schematics in this schematics you can see the input output pins <coughs> so these are the five switches available in our board and this is the clock which is uh, which will be producing the clock at the frequency of 1 inch and uh, we have another clock which has a uh, frequency of 25 kilohertz and uh, we have a reset option, a reset button and uh, you can see the same in this uh, board uh, you can see the reset pin, you can see the input output pins and this is a clock generator and here you can see the COM port which is used for uh, uh, connecting to the ground and uh, these 7 pins are nothing but the 7 segment display pins you can see the 7 segment display available here and uh, the ports are also available here you can make use of this ports even 
So these are the seven segment display prints which are available. And these are the output LEDs which are available in the board. You can observe the output LEDs here. So you can make use of these LEDs and we can observe the output whatever we need. So we can also make use of these ports and these are the LEDs. So with this introduction, let us get into a task in which we can implement our logic gates. So we can observe, uh, usually in colleges we used to have work with records where we find very difficult in identifying the pins and connecting wires we, and time is a very important concern in that designing a logic circuit everyone used to feel that digital electronics is very easy but uh, getting the lab uh, holding breadboard and logic gates designing a circuit is not that simple so to make it simple we are here using a CPLV and we are going to design a logic and we are going to implement and we are going to look on the outputs so as a first step, I am going to teach you how to design a logic gate, how to verify the Boolean expression and logic of the logic gates. So, for that, first we are going to select, uh, so we have to select symbols. In this symbols path, we can get all the symbols that we have to add. So, some of the basic symbols are available here, the automatic buffer, comparator, counter, decoder, box, general, IO, latch, logics, max, shift registers, shifters and key here. So in general, we can select the ground, we can come here to the work area and place it. And in logic, we can find all the symbols, logic gate symbols. First I am going to select and gate. And here in the symbol name filter, you can filter the search list. For say I need an R gate, there is no need to drag in the whole list. You can just click here and you R so that the R gate will be on the top of the list. You can select it, then you can place it over the work area. I am going for XR, I select it, I want to place it, and I am going for a not XINV here. I select the INV. And uh, we can go for uh, NAND. Go for NAND. And NOR. So with this, I am going to make use of two input pins common to all the gates and I am going to specify each and uh, for observing the output of each gates. So for selecting wires, you can find add wires here or else you can click Ctrl W so which enables wire. You can use Ctrl or scroll up for zooming in or else you can use, use this. Uh, tap for zooming in and zooming out. So I am going to place wire first for the NOR gate.
So we have completed the structure diagram for the logic gates for the input and I am going to connect it to the output now. For the on gate I am assigning pin number 1 that is LED 1. For OR I am going to select pin number 2 so that is LED 2. For XOR it is LED 3. For, for NOT I am using LED 4. For NAND, I am using LED 5. And for NOR, I am using LED 6. So, with this, I will complete my structure diagram. So, uh, we have to connect the ground here, the COM ports. So, with this, the circuit is finished. I haven't used any clock or reset button here. So we have to select the say wall thing, not say, we have to say wall. So after clicking say wall, the aspect will be uh, moved. So with that we can confirm that our circuit is been saved. So we can close it now. So after closing, uh, so we can be saved here. Now uh, we have to click on implement design. By so right clicking it, you will get a list here. In that we have to select run. So the design will be uh, under the foundation. After the compilation, uh, it will be generating the implementation file. USB and this is uh, USB slot which is connected to the computer. So I am going to connect the board with this pin here. So the board is glowing now. So in this design summary window you can see the product file name, module name, the target device, the version of software which you are using, so errors available, warnings, all the details. So we can even individually see all those things by selecting this list. So this is the post stimulation report summary for the CPLD device which we are using. You can see to the functional block resource utilization pins, the details are all available here in the summary. So now the design has generated the program file. So this is the work with Zalinthus Rover. I am going to minimize it. 
I'm going to again browse for the location where my project is. So this is my project, click the project tool, I'm going to open it. So in this, you can find program 13.1. So we have to select this. So it will take time to run. So this is the terminal in which the program is going to be downloaded to the targeted device. started to download program has been downloaded. So the switches are uh, now in 1-1. One, one. For 1-1, one, one, uh, let us take the circuit again the reference. We can open the links. Uh, first LED and second LED for AND and OR gate. So now the input is 1, 1. You can see that the, the input is 1 and 1. So the output of AND gate for 1 and 1 is 1, for OR gate is also 1. And I have connected the first pin for NOT, it is 1 again. So the LED 4 is 0. And for XOR gate, the value for 1 and 1 input is 0 again and for NAND it's again a 0 for NOR it's again 0 so I'm going to change both the inputs to 0 0 so now you can observe the outputs here for input 0 0 the AND gate output is 0 for input 0 0 the R gate output is also 0 for NOR third LED is it's again 0 and for NOR it's 1 and for NAND it's again 1 and for NOR it's again 1 and now I'm going for uh, 0, 0, 1 so now you can see the output of AND gate is 0 output of OR gate is that is the second LED to be uh, glowing that is 1 and for XR it's again 1 and for NOR the first pin the first pin is uh, as in 0, 06, so the NOT gate is also glowing. That is the LED 4 is glowing. And for NAN, it's again uh, 1 because uh, if you are going to get any one input as 0, the output will be 1 for NOT gate, that's a 2 chip and for NOT. And I'm going to uh, place a lost possible input that is 1, 0. So now you can see the respective outputs for those inputs. Okay, um, this is the uh, starting state for the Xilinx with the development board. Hope uh, you enjoy the session and uh, we can further see the detailed and complex design to implement in the same board. Thank you.